Galante, oh Lord, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Oh, my soul, praise God. My soul, worship God. My soul, extol the name of the Lord. Hope in the Lord. Oh, bless you, be God forever. Glorious God, beautiful King, excellent God, I bow before your throne. Glorious God, beautiful King, excellent God, I bow before your throne, bow before your throne, oh, worship at your feet, bow Yeah. 
I worship our Father God. Yeah. Our Daddy God, we thank you, Lord. Oh. We, we appreciate you mightily, Father, Lord. Our lips tremble before you, Lord, because you are great. You are kind, oh Lord, you are merciful. There's no one to be compared with you, Lord. Oh. Everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Lord, we worship your majesty. Oh. Blessed be your name, Father. Oh. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. That the God Almighty, the one that called us out, oh Lord, we would have been fooling around, but Lord, you said we should come apart with you, and Lord, you gave us the grace to say yes. So thank you, Lord, for enough is enough, EIE 5. Thank you, Lord, for every day I've been unique and peculiar. Thank you, because you've been preparing us, oh Lord, for yourself. That God, we are grateful in the name of Jesus Christ. And from day one to today, Lord, many lives have been transformed, and I am a witness, oh Lord. Of what you are doing, O Lord, in our lives. You never ask the house of Jacob to seek you in vain. Every second has a fine. Lord, thank you, Lord, for making yourself known to us, for revealing yourself to us, God. Lord, we are grateful. Oh, blessed be your name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, we are daddy on day four. We have come, O Lord, God Almighty, Lord, just as we are. He has, O Lord, He will search us and examine us, O Lord. He will try our hearts, O Lord. Anything. Lord, 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 give the glory, Lord. Every trace of sin and righteousness, Lord, we repent before you, God. We ask, oh God, Lord, you will forgive us, Lord, of all our sins, Lord. No, 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 Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Yeah. Lord, Lord, God, Almighty Father, don't allow us to remain, oh God, in the way that we desire to be. Let us be what you want us to be, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Yeah. Thank you, precious sweet daddy, God. Yeah. We honor you, daddy. Yeah. We love Love you forever, Daddy. Please oh, continue to walk on us, Lord. Yeah. Continue to sit on me, Lord. Yeah. Continue, Lord God Almighty, Lord, to use me, oh God, my elements, Lord, for your glory, Lord. Yeah. And no man will see me, but all men will see you and yes, hear Lord. you and receive from you, Lord. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, precious sweet Daddy, God yeah. Almighty. Thank you, Thank you for the atmosphere, for the connections, so, Lord. All your children that desire to come, Lord God Almighty, I have forgotten, Lord. Lord, blow this show for Lord in their ears. To God yeah. and let them hear and respond, Lord. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ, I yeah. take control, Father. Yes, take control of our minds. Yes, and our minds, Lord, be stayed on you, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, yeah. I thank you, sweet Heavenly Father. Yeah. We give you praise. Yeah. We worship you. Yeah. At the end of today's prayer, call and everyone lift up their hands as individuals as they have had an encounter with Jesus Christ yeah. and that it lasts forever. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Yeah. Touch us, Lord. Yes, Lord. Heal us, Lord. Yes, Lord. Deliver us from destructions. Yes, Restore us, Father. Yes, Lord. Let our lives, O Lord God, I never remember the same again. Yes, In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, precious Heavenly Father. Yes, Heaven is our home. Yes, it is our gaze. Is our fight, is our focus. Help us not to look away. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. amen. Thank you, sweet dad. Blessed be your name forever. Hallelujah. In Jesus Christ, unchallengeable mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen. and amen. amen. Shalom morning, shalom afternoon. Shalom evening, precious family all over the world. Uh, daddies and mommies, the ministers of God, brothers and sisters, friends, their children. You are all welcome to God's altar, to God's call, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We thank God for keeping us, for bringing us to day four of this prayer retreat. Enough is enough. E-I-E-5. It's a miracle family to be here. Because many may have started with us and they are not here. But you and I, we have been here from day one. Who are people are counting four over five? How many people over there can say, I am four over five? Oh, four Hallelujah. Amen. By the mercy of the Lord, we are going to finish well. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. By the grace of God, family, yesterday we had meeting with our soul. Yeah. How many of you had meeting with your soul? Yeah. I had meeting with my soul, family. I had a wonderful conference. And my soul now understands. My soul can now say, I hope in God. He's the help of my countenance. He is my God. God, I'm going to continue to preserve you, family. Your soul 
shall find rest at last. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So go ahead and call somebody to come. Press the share button. Invite somebody to come. And remember to go to our YouTube channel, family. Go to the YouTube channel and call people to come. Subscribe. Let God use you to promote this message. If the message is working on you, is transforming you, then show love. Share with somebody. Let somebody's salvation story be attached to your sharing. And the Lord God Almighty is going to continue to use us for his glory. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I also want to appeal to us, family, in case you send me a message inboxing me, I don't reply immediately. Please bear with me. Don't be offended. By the mercy of God, I always take out time to reply my messages. So don't be too much in a hurry to judge and conclude that I don't answer you. Please, bear with me and the grace of God will rule your heart to peace. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. the Lord Almighty bless you. Amen. We're going to continue by taking our retreat scripture from the book of Matthew, chapter 11, verse 12, and then 1 Samuel 30, 1 to 8. Matthew chapter 11, verse 12. Yes, sir. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, yes. the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, uh -huh. and the violence take it by force. God Almighty says it's time for us to be to know that we can be violent. We can take what belongs to us by force. The devil is not going to give it to us freely. It's not going to be easy. So God Almighty says it is time for us to become violent in the spirit. Because whether we like it or not, we are in a warfare. And our weapon is not physical, it is spiritual, based on what God has said. From Genesis, the enemy began to contend with the souls of men by twisting and perverting the word of God. And that's why God Almighty is calling us to spend time to feed properly on his word. To be able to know difference, to know when it is his voice, when it is the voice of the devil, even though it is through human beings. And by the mercy of God, family, Lord God Almighty is going to give us the grace. And see, I started giving us the grace in this EIE 5 to take, what, take back what belongs to us. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. What happened to David in 1 Samuel chapter 30? 1 to 8. Yes, sir. And it came to pass when David and his men were come to Ziklag on the third day. Yes. And the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziklag and smitten Ziklag uh -huh. and burnt it with fire. And had taken the women captives yes. that we are therein. They slew not any, either great or small, uh -huh. but carried them away and went on their way. So David and his men came to the city, and behold, it was born with fire. Yes. And their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captives. Mm -hmm. Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. Mm -hmm. And David's two wives were taken captive. Mm -hmm. And he knew them, the Jezreelites. And Abigail, the wife of Nabal the Carmelite. Mm -hmm. And David was greatly distressed when the people spake of stoning him. Yes. Because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his sons mm -hmm. and for his daughters. Yes. For David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. Yes. And David said to Abiathar, the priest, Ahimelech's son, uh -huh. I pray thee, bring me hither the ephod. Yes. And Abiathar brought thither the ephod to David. Uh -huh. And David inquired at the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Yes. Shall I overtake them? Uh -huh. And he answered him, Pursue, pursue for thou shalt surely overtake them, uh -huh. and without fail, recover all. Amen. The Lord bless the reading, the hearing, and the keeping of his word in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. For many God Almighty says that for us to contend. And if you go further privately to read from verses 17 to 25, you will discover that David actually recovered all. I was even able to to give to people, even those who didn't fight. He shared it around. The Lord God Almighty is going on to begin to know that there are invasions in our lives. You don't have to look for the trouble of somebody or the devil. Like I hear some Christians say, I'm going to stay on my own. I'm not going to fight the devil. No. I don't have power for the devil. He doesn't mean he will not come. The Bible says he knows his mission in John 10, 10 to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And it's not destroying people's houses. It's destroying souls. God Almighty said we have to arise and contend for our soul. Contend in battle against these invaders. They have been dealt with from day one. The one the Lord said, deal with the invader of ignorance. 
You do not need to say, I don't know, and yet you are dying. Yet you are not moving forward in the face of God. God Almighty gave us power, and I am blessed, family. I'm, blessed. I'm no longer working in ignorance. I have gone back to the word of God. And the Lord kept them too and said, it is for us to deal with distractions. Because God Almighty is the one that knows what is coming around us. He's the one that knows what the devil is using to draw our attention away from him. And by the mercy of God, Lord God Almighty dealt with distractions. And then yesterday the Lord came to us and said, It is time to deal with spiritual dryness, weakness of the spirit. And he took us in the midnight hour and said, have a meeting with your soul because your soul is the one that is always attacked when this dryness comes. And by the mercy of God, family, I'm getting stronger. How about you? I'm getting stronger in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That is how you know that you are praying. If you are praying and you are not getting stronger, you are not getting wiser, you are not getting deeper with God, God might say, check it. You are not tuned in the right frequency. And this prayer retreat is connected with fasting. We are fasting, family. Don't tell me that after praying and you know that you are in your country, it is still morning. You go and eat, you are deceiving yourself. My cousin Talagaya. We in Nigeria were eating from 5.36. That's what we eat. So you over there, let the Lord give you grace to fast at least till midday. Since you are doing your prayer in the morning, you have even a better opportunity. You can pray more. Listen to the message again and use it to pray until your soul is satisfied. So, family, the fasting continues even after this prayer. For those of you in diaspora that have earlier timing, Lord, we give you grace to finish well. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. By the grace of God, family, we are going to take our retreat song. And I'm believing God that by now, many of us who have known the song, <laughs> and God is going to help us to keep on singing it even after the retreats. Because the enemy, tomorrow you will hear something about this kind of prayer. If Jesus tarries, there's something God will tell us about it tomorrow. So we're going to take our retreat song. Enough is enough, it is enough. Enough is enough, it is enough. It is time to contend for my soul. Right from the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God allows violence.
That is why I am already sweating. My God, Teddy Galatia. That's how you know that you are praying passionately. You must sweat. If you are not sweating, child of God, your prayer is not moving anybody. Until your prayer moves you and you feel it, God is not moved. That's what David said. I will not give God that which costs me nothing. So that's why we cannot do makeup, family. If I do makeup and enter this prayer, you will hurt me. You will switch off your phone. Why? I've been looking like a masquerade. Yeah, cannot tell you. Beware, child of God, of looking psychedelic in this kind of prayer. The Lord of Almighty is going to take time for you and I to know that we have to take responsibility for our soul. David knew that he had to do something. If not, he will be stoned to death. He went back to God. And God Almighty gave him assurance when he did the right thing, which is prayer. We are doing the right thing, family. We're not wasting time. We are doing what God wants us to do. And by the grace of God, family, we are going to have the spoil. The Bible says this is David's spoil. This is in Kechi's spoil. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ poured his part of powers. He disgraced them. When I put so of them, he triumphed over them. He has given us the power. You, you and I are going to triumph. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Why? We already have the certificates before time. We are more than conquerors. Amen. So we have the boldness and the confidence to go ahead in this battle. Yes, We're not going to fail. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The Lord Almighty is bringing us on that day of deliverance, of divine encounter, of empowerment to pray. The Lord said today, enough is enough of weeping. Now God tell you, God tell you, enough is enough of weeping, of sorrowing, of tears, of pains, of frustration, of orishi rishi. God tell you, God tell you, orishi rishi. The Lord said, such and such. If it is not weeping today, the water is another story. That's what's another story. Enough is enough. Yes, Lord. We're in a race to meet our Redeemer. Man. We do not need those kind of distractions in our life. Yes, God Almighty said today He's going to tell us His will. Yes, so the divine call of God is connected, child of God, to our rest. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, move on, move on. Don't be tired. Lord Jesus on our side, he shall end well. Hallelujah. Move on, move on, don't be tired. Lord Jesus on our side, he shall end well. Move on, move on, move on, move on, move on, don't be tired. Oh, Lord Jesus on our side, yeah, he shall end well. The enemy is so angry already. My God, God Almighty is with us. Yes, Lord. The Lord said there is a divine invitation, a call why he is concerned with our rests. Matthew 11, 28 to 30. God Almighty said this is his number one interest in our lives. To have rest in him. Matthew 11, 28 to 30. Come unto me, all ye that labor. Divine invitation says, Come unto me, all ye that labor. And are heavy laden. Uh -huh. And I will give you rest. Yes, sir. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Uh -huh. For I am meek and lowly in heart. That is it. And ye shall find rest unto your soul. Read on. For my yoke is easy yes. and my burden is light. God Amen. Almighty said, This is his invitation to all of us. The entire world has opportunity to rest. God is calling us to know that there are yokes in this world. Drop it and take his yoke. Drop your bodies and take his own body. This world, child of God, is a place where God brought us to showcase his glory, to showcase his power, to boast to the devil who had all the comfort in this world but looked at God and put hand in God's eye. God Almighty said, it's time for you and I to know why we are here. We're not here because God wants us to suffer. We are here as God's trophy. We are here as God's boast. God's bragging. Look at how he's bragging about Job. Bragging about his children. Walking with Enoch. 
God Almighty said he has not changed. He wants to have a child in this world that whenever he is, he wants to tell the devil that he has, he's going to be destroyed, he will point at us. He will point at you. I know that God Almighty is with us here because he's coming to, he's coming to pick one of his children here Amen. to use them to showcase the devil that he has made the worst mistake of his life. Yes, and God is going to use me. We need to use you. He's going to pick you. He will pick us as examples. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God Almighty said that is his will for us. And Jesus went to the cross and declared his will. Look at the book of John chapter 19 verse 30. Look at God's will there for you and I. Look at God's will in John 19, 30 and Isaiah 53, 3-4. to 4. John chapter 19, I read verse 30. What does he say? Uh -huh. When Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, uh -huh. he said, uh -huh. it, is finished. it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Tell God Almighty a second, it said it is finished. He does not want us to go through what he has handled. Can you imagine as a mother, you finish making food, you spend so much money, so much time to prepare a delicacy for your child or your children, and you place it on the table, and the next thing you see, they go outside to go and start begging neighbors for food. Hey, Kalata. Or they go and say, I prefer biscuits. Do you know how fortunate to be to you as a mother? God is going to start for us to know that He does not want us to waste the sacrifice on the cross. He said, it is finished. I've done it all. Everything is laid out. Your healing, your salvation, your deliverance, your joy, your peace. It is finished. What did he say in Isaiah 53? 3 and 4. Yes, sir. He is despised and rejected of men. Uh -huh. A man of sorrows. Yes. And acquainted with grief. Uh -huh. And we hid as it were. As it were, our faces from him, uh -huh. he was despised. Yes, as we esteemed him not. Uh -huh. Surely he had borne our griefs, our griefs. and carried our sorrows. Yes, we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. Somebody say, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I carry my, my griefs and all my burdens. God Almighty said, No more sorrow. Beware of sorrow, sorrow crushes the bones. Sorrow makes us not to see the glory of God. God is going to teach us today about sorrow. The Lord God Almighty said, He has carried the body. He has done all the work. We don't need to go through it anymore. Go to the book of 1 Peter 2, 24. Look at an example of what Jesus has done for us. Look at it. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse number 24. 1 Peter chapter 2. Yes. I read verse 24. Yes. Who his own self bear our sins on his own. You can own take body. it from 23, so please. Who, when he was reviled, yes. revived not again. Uh -huh. When he suffered, he threatened not. Yes. But committed himself to him that judged righteously. Uh -huh. Who his own self bear our sins yes, on his sir. own body on yes, the tree. Uh -huh. That we, being dead to sins, should live unto, life, unto righteousness. By whose stripes ye are healed. healed. You are healed. Amen. You will be healed. You will be healed. You will be healed. You will be healed. You are healed. You are healed. You will be healed. You are healed. You will be healed. You will be healed. You will be healed. Walk in your healing. You will be healed. Look at it in Matthew 8 17. My God, tell us, Oh, because somebody over here, God Almighty is going to redeem us. Amen. He's going to rescue us from fear. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I say, look at Matthew 8 17. That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, uh -huh. saying, Say. Himself took our infirmities. He himself took. Somebody said, Took. Himself took. That will take. So I said, Lord, take away pain. He has oh, taken it again. Past tense. He himself took our infirmities. Our infirmities. And bear our sicknesses. He bear our sicknesses. Yeah. Tell God, beware of doing future tense when God says past tense. God to his timing. Come to his program. The Lord said, enough is enough of weeping. Amen. The Lord is going to know that weeping has timing in God's calendar. Weeping has timing. It's not always going to be there. Go to the book of Psalm 30 verse 5 and Ecclesiastes 3 verse number 4. Psalm 30 verse 5, there is time for weeping. According to the Galatia, it has timer. 
There's a stopwatch. Psalm 30 verse number 5. Psalm 30 verse 5, I read. Yes. For his anger endured but a moment. Uh -huh. In his favor is life. Yes. Put him may endure for a night. Uh -huh. But joy cometh in the morning. Hallelujah. Amen. God Almighty said, God can be angry due to our sin. There is time for weeping. But Lord God Almighty said, it may endure. It may last for a night. What you see but... Once you see but, it is a ray of hope from the Lord. He said, but joy cometh. In the morning. Not will come. Mm. Not will come. It cometh. It's automatic. Mm. That is what God calls us that there is a good weapon. There is a good weapon. The devil cannot even stop this message. God Almighty said, there is a good weapon and there is a bad weapon. The Lord Almighty is going not to be focused, family. The network is under God's control. Nobody is going to stop God. I know that the enemy is raging, is angry because somebody over there is going to be delivered. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord Almighty said, It is time for us to know. Lord, I give you glory. I thank you for your blood, even the blood of Jesus Christ that speaketh over our lives, speaking better than the blood of judgment. In the name of Jesus Christ, God Almighty says, It's time for us to that there is time for weeping. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse number 4. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 4. What did you say? A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to weep and a time to laugh. So we cannot weep throughout. There is time for laughter, my God. There is time for rejoicing. There is time for us to be merry in the heart. We saw it that day. God Almighty said there is a time to weep and, and a time, time to laugh. laugh. A time to mourn. And a time to dance. Hallelujah. Amen. God Almighty knows how much we can be here. We do not have a high priest who is not moved by the feelings of our infirmity. Jesus Christ was, he went through all the things we are going through today. He knew that we are going to suffer these things. Yet there is a good suffering and there is a bad suffering. We are going to start with the good one. The good suffering. The good weeping. The good sorrow. Because child of God, global altar is a balanced altar for the truth of God. Right. And by the mercy of God, God Almighty is going to teach us again today. Right. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Look at the book of James chapter number 4. 8 to 9. Matthew 5, 4. Write them down so you can just go through them. James chapter 4, 8 to 9. Matthew 5, 4. 2 Corinthians chapter number 7, 8 to 11. My God, that is a good weeping. That is a good serene. That's a good morning. Read on. James chapter 4, 8 and 9. Nine. Yes, sir. Draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh unto you. Draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. My Place God, your God. hands, ye sinners. Place your hands, ye sinners. And purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Uh -huh. Be afflicted and mourn, uh -huh. and weep. Yes. Let your laughter be turned to mourning, uh -huh. and your joy into heaviness. In God heaven. Almighty said it is time for you and I to know that we can have good weapon for our sin. When we commit sin, we have to weep. Uh -huh. There are new every morning, new every morning. Great is your faithfulness, O Lord. Great is your faithfulness. Are we on my coastal today? Family, God Almighty is with us. You can see that the devil doesn't want us to have joy, but he cannot stop God. God Almighty said his will must be declared. When we declare the will of God like this, you see the enemy raging because his problem is the cross. But because many preachers do not preach about the cross, people are in bondage. The healing of God, the deliverance of the Lord is embedded in the cross. And the global altar are declaring the work, the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. It's going to work in our lives. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Bible says, Look at chapter number 4, 8 and 9. He said, We should draw nigh to God. And He will draw nigh to us. We are to take the first step. 
We should cleanse our hearts because we are sinners and purify our hearts for our double mindedness. The sign says, Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to happiness. Why? God wants us to be humble. The reason why we weep, when we commit sin, when we disobey God, is to draw us to the place of humility and true repentance. Genuine repentance, we have God Almighty will be the one to wipe away our tears. And say, so you have been forgiven. Oh, we are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God who has given us victory. We are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God who has given us victory. Family, we give God the praise. Hallelujah. In everything, we give thanks. Thank we are going to a practical session, family. You can see the raging of the enemy, Akosota, the one that wants to keep us in bondage. But the Lord said, Today is a day of deliverance. Akosota, he said, Enough is enough of weeping. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mark chapter number 5 verse 4. The Lord is teaching us about good weeping. Good sorrow. Mark chapter number 5 verse 4. Yes sir. Blessed are they that mourn, uh -huh. for they shall be comforted. The Lord Almighty said there is a blessing when we cry, when we mourn for our sin. This morning is morning for sin. It's repentance, feeling a deep sorrow because of sin. Because many Christians, we don't have that deep sorrow. We're not sorry for our sin. We defend our sin. We just repent. We just apologize for apology's sake. Look at Psalm number 38 before I go to that other scripture. Look at Psalm 38, verse number 18. Psalm 38, I read verse 18. What does it say? For I will declare my iniquity. I will declare my sin. I will be sorry for my sin. I will be sorry for my sin. Child of God, many of us do not declare iniquity. You want to cover it. You want to hide it in your heart. And you still want God Almighty to bless you, to heal you. No, sin must be declared. Sin must be exposed. Sin must be put down for God Almighty to see that truly we are sorry for our sin. Beware of hiding your sin. Beware of wanting people to condone your sin, to allow you to do as you like. God Almighty say no. He wants us to cry. Be sorry. Repent of your sin. It is a good weeping. Go to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 7, 8 to 11. It's a good weeping when you weep for sin. God Almighty is looking for that kind of weeping from his children, but we don't give it to him. We weep for fleshy things. Beware of weeping because of the flesh. It's a useless weeping. It's going to lead to sickness and sorrow of the uh, of this world. What does it say? Second Corinthians chapter eight, chapter seven, verse eight to eleven. Chapter seven, eight, eight to, to 11. eleven. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I said therefore to the unmarried yes. and widows, it is good for them if they abide even as I. Uh -huh. But if they cannot contain, yes. let them marry. For it is better to marry than to burn. And also the marriage you as 8 to 11. <coughs> Second Corinthians, I'm sorry I was reading. I was wondering if I was talking about marriage. 
Second Corinthians 7, 8 to 11. For Joe, I made you sorry with a letter. Uh -huh. I do not repent. Uh -huh. Do I repent? Do I did repent? Do I did repent? Yes. For I perceive that the same epistle have made you sorry. Uh -huh. Though it were but for a season. Child of God, the word of God should make you broken. And the preacher should be held responsible. I can feel bad that you are feeling bad, but it's not my word. I have to declare the word of God to you. It should make you sorry. The essence of the word of God, the hard rock gospel, is to make us broken. Sorry. Cry. That cry does not give you sickness. That is the cry that will receive divine comfort. So we are separating sorrow today, family. We are separating good sorrow from bad sorrow. We are starting with the good one. Read on. Now I rejoice. Uh -huh. Not that ye we are made sorry. Yes. But that ye sorrow to repentance. Uh -huh. For ye we are made sorry after a godly man. That is it. Ye might receive damage by us in nothing. Read on. For godly sorrow walketh repentance to salvation. Yes. Not to be repented of. Uh -huh. For the sorrow of the world walketh death. When you are sorrowful because people insult you, you don't have the things of this world, it leads to death. Sickness will come. Don't forget it, family. Because God Almighty is going on to good sorrow. The word that will lead us to salvation and will make us to make heaven at last. If you don't have it in your eye, children don't have it in their eyes. Child of God, there will be no transformation. God is the one that changes us. God cannot change somebody who is not broken. Who doesn't have this godly sorrow? You will wait for a long time and the sin will multiply. Why? Sin hardens the heart. It makes you to be tough, my God. You cannot change. God Almighty said that is the reason why this godly sorrow must come. Through hard message that will make you cry, that will make you look as if they are called, they are almost to call your name. It's your case. It's so direct. It's just maybe to call your name. Yeah, God says you should hear a message that look as if somebody gossiped you. It should be your case, my God, So you know, it's not getting about to me. And so what? Who are you? You're a sinner. Repent, my God, so What does this say, verse eleven? For behold, this self same thing that he said after a godly sort. Uh -huh. What carefulness it wrought in you? Hallelujah. You what clearing of yourselves? Yes, sir. You what indignation? Yes. You what fear? Uh -huh. You what vehement desire? Yeah. You what zeal? Uh -huh. You what revenge? Uh -huh. In all things, you have approved yourselves to be clear in this matter. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord might say, if the dogs preach this message, many of us will be, will be free with sin. But then I shout, you cannot come in for the question. You will be conscious. You will become afraid. You will become watchful. Child of God cannot keep quiet over sin. We must speak it as it is. We must make us to be afraid of God. That is a godly fear. But I might say, it is a good sorrow. Even Jesus had good sorrow. Towards the people of God. Look at John chapter 11, verse 35. Write it down. Luke chapter 18, 8 to 9. La John chapter 11, verse 35. Luke 18, 8 to 9. Jesus himself had good sorrow. La what does he say? John chapter 11, verse 35. Uh -huh. Jesus wept. Jesus wept. He didn't weep because of the death of Lazarus. Jesus well because he saw everybody that had been listening to teaching, they had no faith. His presence meant nothing to them. He didn't have hope when they saw him. That's why Jesus wept. And he continued weeping. When you look at Luke chapter 18, his weeping continued there. 8 to 9. My coach Luke chapter 18. Yes. I read from verse 8 to 9. Yes, sir. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Uh -huh. Nevertheless, uh -huh. when the Son of Man cometh, shall, shall, come it? shall he find faith? Shall he find earth? faith on earth? The way people are doubting God. The way preachers are preaching prosperity, they want to live in this world forever. Faith comes when we speak God's gospel. It is gospel that produces faith. Mama preaching of prosperity produces conventions that are greed and ingratitude. It's a shapefulness. God Almighty said, it's time for you to know that he wept. Because he said, we just need to be fed when I come. Who will remain? Ah, he can see, I will remain for God. Oh, yeah, God. Yeah, God, 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 I'm not going to disappoint the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm going to trust my And he spoke this parable of the certain which trusted in themselves, uh -huh. that they were righteous uh -huh. and despised others. God, I might say, beware of thinking you are too much. Let he that thinketh his standard. Take heed, lest he falls. 
God am I going for God not for godly sorrow? Godly sorrow. Weeping in righteousness. Sowing in tears for our sin. So we will reap joy in righteousness. Yes, that is the godly sorrow God is calling us to. It is a good one. Yes, he makes us sober. Go to Ecclesiastes chapter 7. Yes, he makes us sober 2 to 4. Yes, Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verses 2 to 4. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 yes. and 2 to 4. Read on. It is better to go to the house of mourning uh -huh. than to go to the house of feasting. Yes. For that is the end of all men. Uh -huh. And the living will lay it to his they heart. To the heart. Uh -huh. Read on. Sorrow is better than laughter. Sorrow is better than laughter. For by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. Uh -huh. Verse 4. Yes. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. That is it. For the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. God Almighty said it is time for to know that there is good sorrow. Yes, Lord. That's why God allows evil to happen to us. He allows it. That's why he said in Romans 8 22 to 28. Romans 8 28. All things work together for good. Yes, to them that love God, that are called according to his purpose. God can allow us to have sorrow around us. Why? To make us to be sober. To make us know that we are in this world temporarily. The reason for it is to give us reflection. To make us to be humble. To make us not to hold on to the things of this world. God is achieving spirituality through sorrow in our lives. Hallelujah. And all around us. Hallelujah. The Lord said, beware. That is why we do not do bad day. Child of God, we don't celebrate. We don't jump up and down. Because it will take our hearts away from this godly sorrow. We will not want, tell God, we will not want to leave this world if we are doing all these worldly celebrations. That's why I give God glory that God Almighty is showing us a global altar. People are having their birthday, but they don't come, they don't come out. I don't see them, most of the global altar people, I don't see you fooling around. They don't we preserve you Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God Almighty said in the time of whenever he allows this godly, this good sorrow, Godly sorrow, he has what he wants to accomplish in our lives. So look at it in verse number Psalm 23, verse number 4. God wants to accomplish something there. Psalm 23, and in verse 4. Yes. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, uh -huh. I will fear no evil, uh -huh. for thou art with me. Uh, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff. But God is in Christ. They comfort me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God Almighty said the reason why he allows us to look as if we are so sick. We are almost dying is to know that he is Jehovah Shammah. Right. He is present with us. Yes, <laughs> to you. He has his hand upon our lives. The reason why we don't want to go through this is because of assurance so that we know him that he's a blessed assurance that Jesus is mine. Yes, that is the reason why God allows us to look as if we are almost going to die, but he did not die. He puts it in us to make us remember who he is. To remind us of him. Look at another scripture. Look at it. In the book of John chapter 14 verse 27. And then John chapter 16, 22 and 33. My God, John, the John 14 and verse 27. What does he say? Peace I live with you. Peace I live with you. And peace I give unto you. Uh -huh. Not as the word giveth, give I unto yes. you. Let not your hearts be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. Child of God, we can be troubled. Fear can come. That is why God Almighty said, there is a peace he gives to us. If we don't have these troubles, how are we going to know the peace of God? That's why we're going to go to the world to give us peace. The world has peace. They have shortcuts. They have alternative, but it leads to a greater danger and destruction in the future. So God Almighty is going to that if there is no trouble, how are we going to enjoy his peace? So the reason why God allows us to go through things, through some of these sorrows we go through, is for us to enjoy His peace. To know the difference between godly peace and worldly peace. Look at John 16. 22 and 23. And 33. Sorry, and 33. And ye now therefore have sorrow, uh -huh. but I will see you again, Allah and your Allah. heart shall rejoice, uh -huh. and your joy no man taketh from you. God yeah. Almighty said, whether you like it or not, there are human, human beings that the devil has sponsored to come and take away our joy. So that we should depend on him and be prepared for such people. So when you say, what have I done to them? Ain't they do them good? They do me evil. They repent with evil. God evil, God allowed it. 
So you will know that human being is capable of stealing your joy, my culture, if you do not hold on to his peace. If you do not believe in his peace, human being will take away your joy. Why are people committing suicide? Why are people going into a manner of depression and a manner of sorrow? It is because they didn't know that it will happen. So heartbreaks came. <laughs> Disappointment came. Jesus was able to overcome the devil in the life of Judas because he knew who was to betray him. He, the enemy was even revealed on the dining table to the other disciples. He ate with him from the same place. Colombia is going to beware. Beware of ignorance. You must know that your enemy is very close. That the one that always comes close. They always look as if they are concerned. They always show love. Huh? They want to pray with you. Yeah. They want to do as if they love you so much. You know that when my husband died, a preacher, a, a, a pastor, a pastor, she's even a pastor in our former church. She came to my house. The only thing she remembered to come and tell me is, Mommy, where are your pants? I want to wash your pants. Yeah, Kalan, Chalaga, yeah, I said, Satan has come. The devil has come. I looked at her and said, Wash my pants. I don't want you to, you cannot wash my pants. My pants are not dirty. There could be way of people that look so close. How can she wash my pants? Yeah, Kalanta. Are we close? Yeah. She wants to have story. Maybe we want to collect a woman of the pants to go and show people. Say, look at that band. What a wicked offer. People are people that got want to come so close to you. You don't know their motive. Yeah, Kalanta. Yeah. Kalama said, beware. People can take away your child by revealing your secrets. And the Lord of the is calling one night. It's time for us to be to clink to him and avoid that sorrow of heartbreak. Oh. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, no, that's the three, say. That's the three. This yes. says I have spoken unto you. Uh -huh. That in me ye might have peace. In God, our peace resides. Uh -huh. In the world, ye shall have tribulation. This world gives trouble, mm -hmm. tribulation. If you choose this world, you are going to lose the peace of God. In the world you have tribulation. But be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. I overcome the world. Hallelujah. Amen. I saw it in our Bible reading today. In the book of Acts. We have God came and told Paul to be of good cheer. I, I think I, we, Acts 23. Can you check for that verse? It said, Brother Paul. Uh, something like about Paul. Look for it, please. It, it is be of good share has entered into me. My country, that guy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Look for it. 23, 11. 23:11. Acts 23, verse number 11. And the night following, the Lord stood by him and said, The Lord stood by Paul and said, Be of good cheer, Paul. Be of good cheer, in Be of good cheer, <laughs> Put your name there. God Almighty said, Be of good cheer, Marianne. Be of good cheer, Lorraine. Be of good cheer, Ifair. Then he said, God that is talking to you right now. He said, You will not always be in sorrow. I am the one monitoring your life. I know why I am now sorrow. Receive the encouragement of the Lord today. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God Almighty it's time for us to know that there is good sorrow that releases body. God allows it. He did it in the life of Hannah. He allowed Penina and her children to torment her. We saw in the Bible study, but I'm going to read it again in 1 Samuel 1. Read verse 10 and read verse 15. God Almighty said, If not for that torment of Penina, there would have been no need for her to go to God in prayer. Go to the first Samuel chapter 1, 10 and 15. Yes. And she was in bitterness of soul. Yes. And prayed unto the Lord and wept so. Uh -huh. And Hannah answered and said, Yes. No, my Lord. Uh -huh. I am a woman of a sorrowful spirit. Uh -huh. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink. Yes. But have poured out my soul before the Lord. Child of God, without sorrow, some of us cannot pray. We'll be laughing and playing all the time. When God wants us to be sober, to retreat, to come for prayer, he can allow sorrow. It is God's good sorrow. Oh, he uses it a lot. God Almighty said there is a good suffering. There is a good suffering. Look at Romans chapter 8. Verse number 18. There is a good suffering. Romans chapter 8 verse 18. Uh -huh. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present the time sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. There is a glory that will be revealed in us in the future. 
God Almighty said he can allow it in his own time. You no know, matter how you sow seed, it will not go. He allowed, it's a good suffering. It is to build up character in us. It's to build up tenacity in us. Family, if not for my trials, I will not be here. My widowhood, my sick daughter, my dead daughter, my son that is having a special life, it all formed to make who you are seeing here. God uses ingredient of trouble to build up strong Christians. I could tell you, if your only ingredient is something, 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 you can never be God's vessel. God has no time for soft people. God uses solid, rugged people. My God, who are not going to put hand in his eye and say, I regret following you. My God, tell you, God Almighty is a military God. He trains soldiers. His name is called the commander of the host of the army. My God, beware of looking at God as a chicken. He is a lion. God said he cannot use people who cannot go through things. Weaklings. God does not use weaklings. God uses people that are ready to go through things. It's called process. It's called training. It's called grinding. God Almighty has a show, a workroom and a showroom. God's workroom has hammer. If you hear it, boom, chiseling. Your, your job, you can lose it after paying all your tithe. You lose job. They say, God, I doesn't care with all those they are preaching. You can fully praise it, God. No, 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 no. Child of God, your family, will, your, your, your whole house will catch fire. That's right. I know that God, though. <laughs> I know that God, has, as you are serving Him, more troubles are coming. God Almighty said, if you don't want him to use you, don't ever pray, Lord, use me, Lord, use me. Don't pray it. I beg you, if you don't want to go into God's capital, you know he was a capital. Yes. Eh? Hey, Jesus was a capital. He's used to nails. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if he's moving in the capital shade of his father, a little nail will pierce him. Eh? It will bleed. He will just bring it and continue his work. Uh -huh. Yeah, right. You have to deliver that table tomorrow. Yeah. Beware, child of God, of everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. You are useless to God. My God, child of God. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> trials make us strong. All troubles are trials. Don't last always. Just ahead is a brighter day. This is what see you through. He knows just what he will do. But joy comes in the morning. Hallelujah. All our trials are ingredients in God's workshop. Before He can put us in the showroom, in the display room. Stop rushing for display when you have not gone through your processing. God Almighty says He uses trials, He uses suffering to prepare us. He knows that we can be distressed. He knows that troubles will come. He prepared for it. He showed us the example of how to go through troubles. God Almighty says, for you, and that's way to follow his own way. Amen. Look at Book of John chapter 14. Look at what God Almighty calls us to look upon in our days of trouble. In our days of discouragement. John chapter 14. 1 to 4. 1 to 4. Yes, sir. Let not your hearts be troubled. Uh -huh. Ye believe in God. Yes. Believe also in me. Uh -huh. In my father's house are many mansions. Yes. If you are not so, uh -huh. I would have told you. Uh -huh. I go to prepare a place for you. Yes. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I uh -huh. will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go, ye know. Yes. And the way ye know. God Almighty said it's just about way. People have been like the Israelites who wanted to know about the works of God. Moses knew the way of God. The people wanted works. They like miracle. That's how you see crowd. Crowd pursues miracle signs and wonders. People want to be mature in the spirit. They pursue the ways of God. The character of God. They want to please God. They want to obey God. They are not after the things that God has to offer. That's the difference. Choose your group. If you are easily wanting to come out of trouble, every time trouble comes, they want to come out, you are crying. You are not mature in the spirit. God cannot trust you. God trusts only those who have passed his testing. There's a God that gives tests. 
God Almighty said, these are good sorrow. God tell you, they are good sorrow. And everyone that wants to be in God's hand as an instrument to bless people's lives, God said you have to go through his own training. His own struggle. You'll be praying, you'll not answer your prayer. You'll be watching you cry. But God said, I tell God, we are talking from the experience. Yeah, Kalata. He said, you don't see me. The Lord will say, go ahead. I am here. Sometimes no voice, no sound. All you'll be hearing is in your spirit is continue the walk. Then in level 32, the people that know their God, they shall be strong. And they shall do exploits. Personally, for me, they, I don't know. I, I cannot stay with people who don't like trials. They will make me look like a sinner. I stay with my kind. I love people who enjoy trouble. I love people who, when trouble comes, they say, opportunity to pray. Uh. <laughs> opportunity to see the devil cry. They rejoice at storm. My God, tell my galantia. God, I say, it's time for you and I to begin to know that when it is time, my God, tell my galantia, when it is time for him to use a man, he grinds him to powder. He breaks him into pieces. God, I'm going to have mercy on us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I'm going to have mercy on us today. Look at the book of Psalm number 31, 9 to 10. Psalm 31, 9 to 10. Psalm 31, 9 to 10. If you can hear me over there, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. What does it say? Psalm 39. Psalm 31. 9 to 10. Yes, sir. Uh, Lord, I thank you for today. What profit is there in my blood uh -huh. when I go down to the pits? Uh -huh. Shall the dust praise thee? Uh -huh. Shall it declare thy truth? Uh -huh. Verse 10. Uh -huh. Hear, O Lord, and yes. have mercy upon me. Uh -huh. Lord, be thou my helper. Amen. God Almighty, did you read uh, Psalm 31 verse 9? Psalm 31 verse 9. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, uh -huh. for I am in trouble. Yes. My eye is consumed with grief. Uh -huh. Hear my soul and my belly. For my, verse 10. For uh -huh. my life is spent with grief. Yes. And my years with sighing. Uh -huh. My strength faileth because of my iniquity. Uh -huh. And my bones are consumed. Ah, uh -huh, because I didn't hear that. My cousin, Sorry. Sorry. God Almighty says, that we, he knows that we can be consumed by trouble. Okay. He knows that we can have sorrow. He knows that we can be distressed. He knows, but at the end of the day, child of God, we are meeting last night with our soul to tell our soul we have to go to hope in God. We are doing the will of God for many with prayer. When we are afflicted in James 5.13, Bible we say we should pray. We should call upon God. We should not keep silent. When you are going through this and you keep silent, you do not pray, it's going to turn against you at the end of the day. It will not look like you are the one causing your problem. Because many of us, we are the one that promote and increase our trials. Like in the case of Abraham. That God had promised him a child. At the end of the day, the wife convinced him for them to go into a corner to help themselves. There's a scripture that they quote, which is not in this Bible. It says, heaven we have those. Who have themselves? They want to go help themselves at the end of the day. 13 years of silence, no fellowship with God. <laughs> Beware of postponing your blessing and increasing your sorrow. My labor because that because many of us, we are the one that call trouble to ourselves. We bring sorrow to ourselves. We bring repeat to ourselves. Why? We talk too much. Go to the book of Psalm 39. Wow. You don't know who is before you are talking. Go to Psalm 39, 1 to 3. Psalm 39, 1 to 3. What does he say? I said, uh -huh. I will take heed to my ways, uh -huh. that I sin not with my tongue. Uh -huh. I will keep my mouth with a bridle, uh -huh. while the wicked is before me. Tell the person you are talking to, do you know who they are? You're talking to a wicked person. Do you know what they're going to tell you? God Almighty said, many of us brought sorrow to ourselves because of our mouth. Talk, oh, talk, oh. You talk to everybody you see. You don't know who is wicked. Ah, huh? read on. I was done with silence. Uh -huh. I had my peace. Uh -huh. Even from good. Uh -huh. And my sorrow was spared. Come on, man, he said, beware of talking anyhow. You don't know who is standing before you. It's going to stir up sorrow. It's going to put you in trouble. It's going to make you to look like you are the one causing your trouble. No, nobody's going to come and join you, child of God. When you use your mouth to cause your trouble, nobody is going to console you. You suffer it alone. You know. It's called my sorrow. What does verse 3 say? My heart was hot within me uh -huh. while I was musing the fire uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then spake I with my tongue. God Almighty says that for us, we don't know that our tongue is for prayer. Yes, 
Not to be talking and complaining and going to social media and posting rubbish. Our tongue is for prayer. Say, Lord, make me to know, know my, my head, head uh -huh. and the measure of my days, uh -huh. what it is, uh -huh. that I may know for how fresh Humility I am. came. Humility came. When we go to God, we know His will. God has a will. Child of God, God has a will. He said, enough is enough of that weeping. He has a will. The devil is a liar. Yes, Look at the book of Proverbs chapter 10. Verse number 22. Proverbs 10, 22. Proverbs chapter 10, I read verse 22. What does it say? The blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich. God has a blessing that maketh rich. And he added no sorrow with it. Child of God Almighty cannot bring you to this world and give you a vision for your life and then God will not add sorrow to that blessing. The Lord Almighty said, He is blessing the cat rich. Because one of my daughters came and said, She had a dream. And a man came and said, You have only one year to live. Don't worry about your children. I will look after them. Uh, somebody will look after them. Don't worry. Prepare yourself. After one year, come. I told her that that is a lie. God Almighty cannot give you children and take you in your pride. Who will raise them? That voice came from the pit of hell. Why? She must have spoken with that knowing to the wicked. And they went to manipulate at them. Tomorrow you will see what God will do in our lives if, you, if Jesus starts about manipulation. Because many of us, your dreams are not dreams of God. They are manipulated dreams. Why? The devil has access to our dream world. And the Lord God, yeah, that's what Job said. What I feared most has come upon me. Behold of your fears. Behold of your, beware of your discussion. Beware of your discussion of your fears. It can turn to a dream. It's called much of business. God Almighty said, it is time for us to know that his blessing make it rich. It added no sorrow. He cannot give it no children at the end of the day. You saw another woman to come and marry your husband and look after them. That is not God. Say, God forbid. God forbid. Yeah. And reject the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. There is a God that is called Alpha and Omega. Author and finisher. Do not choose the voice of the devil. When you have a dream, child of God, the devil can come like an angel of light. He can present it to you to see whether he will connect. And the devil doesn't shout. The devil doesn't wear horn. Doesn't have tail. The devil can come in a white garment like he went to a preacher. Yeah, Peter was very sick. I've given you the testimony before. He was very sick. All the prayer, look at me, is not working. Get it what? So one day was lying on the bed like this. And he looked down and he saw a Roman sander. And Jesus was wearing sander. <laughs> and the person was wearing white. And he was looking, white garment. As soon as the preacher's eye was about to touch the face of the person, he just heard, it's not my will to heal you. And disappeared. And the man said, okay, this is only will of God to heal me. Let me die in peace. That was another preacher that came to that town to come and visit. And he said, I heard you are not well. What is the matter? He said, don't worry. Don't worry. I've heard from the Lord. The Lord came to me. I saw the man stand there. I saw white. And the Lord said, it's not my will to heal you. And disappear. The preacher shouted at him and said, that is not God. How can you shall live and not die? So he declared it wasn't the Lord, the Lord of the living. He began to rebuke that evil spirit. And that was when the preacher got up and lived many years after. Thank you, Lord. Finish his work. There is a God that says, Finish your work. Go to the book of Colossians 4 17, Philippians 1 6. There is a God that told us, Finish your work and I will help you to finish. Yes, there is an ordeal with God. Like God told you, what does he say? Colossians 4, 17. Colossians chapter 4, I read verse 17. Yes, sir. Like God told you, Lord, have mercy. And said to Archippus. Said to Archippus. Yes, said to Archippus. Take heed to the ministry which thou hast received from the Lord. Take heed to the ministry which you have received from the Lord. That thou fulfill it. That you finish it. How can you die without finishing? Like God told you. But now I said, we finish reading the prophets he gave to you. We finish reading the prophets he gave to you. Reject that evil dream. God is not in that dream. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Philippians 1 6. Be confident of this very thing. Uh -huh. That he which has begun a good work in you will perform it. He is. which has begun a good work in you will perform it. God Almighty said he will perform it. Until the day of Jesus Christ. There is an until. Somebody say until. Until. Don't let anybody to change your life. But God told the Galatia. Be one of fear. 
Fear has torment. Fear can produce evil dream. When you are tired of life, child of God, the devil knows by our behavior. He knows, free be full of life, child of God. Be full of life. As I'm sitting down here now, I'm already preparing, child of God, Jesus said, for tomorrow. My country, I've been praying for many days ahead. We are trusting God in Jesus' study, so keep us to finish well. Oh. You will finish well in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The will of God is for us to live, to glorify His name, to serve Him in righteousness. Do not allow God to take it out before time because you cannot stand the pressure of life. People that God allows a lot of times to come early is Isaiah 57. My God, look at Isaiah 57. I'm not in that group. My God, I'm not in Isaiah 57. My name broke us so look at okay. it from verse 1. So. Isaiah 57, read from verse 1. Uh -huh. The righteous perish, uh -huh. and no one lay it into heart. Uh -huh. And merciful men are taken away, uh -huh. none considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil is come. From the, the evil, evil to come. I don't, there any evil coming. I am strong in the Lord to overpower it. Uh, I will not say, Lord, I am not a, 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 a Elijah. I say, hey, come and take me. I'm not better than my father. I say, hey, come and take me. I am not going anywhere. Okay. I shall finish well. I shall finish well. Yeah, can the When people are taking before time, a lot of time is that they have also prayed the prayer. The Lord, if I will backslide tomorrow, take me today. Me, I'm not backslide. Are you going to backslide? No. no. What should you backslide? Tell the Lord that you want to finish well. My God, to the girl. I'm going about to okay, people. He said, what you say in my ear, that will I do. I am going to stay with God until the end. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's the scripture that my daughter showed me. The scripture showed me about Paul. What scripture was that again? This Philippians chapter. Philippians chapter God just said, I should ask you. Philippians chapter 3. 1 verse 21. 1 verse 21. Thank you, daughter. Philippians chapter 1, read from verse 21. She said, Mama, I don't understand this thing. Philippians chapter 1, I read from verse 21. Yes. For to me to live is Christ. Uh -huh. And to die is gain. Uh -huh. But if I live in the flesh, yes. this is the fruit of my labor. Uh -huh. Yes, what shall I choose? What I shall what choose? What I shall choose? Uh -huh. I was not. Uh -huh. For I am in a straight betwixt two, uh -huh. having a desire to depart uh -huh. and to be with Christ, uh -huh. which is far better. Uh -huh. Nevertheless, uh -huh. to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. Praise the Lord. Yeah. This is my family. You see this brother Paul? He's my senior brother. My God, he said, I am in between two desires. I wish I could be with Jesus and be in his presence that is living this world. I want to follow him. Paul but I am here. It is far better for you that I am here. Why? To receive teaching. To be prepared for his coming. So I don't want to go to heaven. But let me stay here for your sake. To receive this gospel. God Almighty said, when this is my daughter, she showed me the scripture, it blessed my life. I said, even though I'm homesick, I want to see Jesus. But I'm not finished my work here. If you want Papa is here, I can see Massa is here. There are people here that need the word. And God Almighty will say, for that, in case you still stay, I will give you grace to go through what you need to go through. There are souls that can keep people here in this world. I go to Nicolata. That's how I know that God Almighty will keep me. And he will keep me for souls. In the name of Jesus Christ. So the Lord God Almighty is good enough to know that it is we that will determine whether we want to live. So my first here, you are the one that will determine whether you want to leave this world. Why? When you are tired of work, you are tired of serving God, you want to give up, God can say, okay, before this one we cook up and go to hell, let me take him away. Let him come and join me in my presence. You and I will not make God to change his mind about our dates. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. it's a date that God has put for us in future. To finish well, don't make God to bring it closer. By your constant weeping and, and all manner of complaining, beware, I know what is in my mouth to talk. There's a way you and your husband will be fighting and calling up and down, daughter. Huh? You will not know when you will say, Lord, I am tired. Beware of constant quarrel with your husband. There's a way you keep crying about your husband. Huh? You enter kitchen, you cry. You enter bathroom, you cry. You are dressing up in the closet, you use wardrobe and cover your face. You are crying. God can take somebody away. 
I beg my daughters, don't cry in your home. I beg you, don't cry. You will become a widow. All the you will leave before time. That is how it works. Yeah, why? You no longer want flesh. Yeah, you are separated. Sorrow has eaten up your tenacity. Beware of crying. Take handkerchief. Clean your eyes. God Almighty said with him all this are possible. He can take care of your husband. He can take care of your home. He can solve that quarrel. It may require just your little submission, your brokenness, and God Almighty will take care of your future. The Lord God Almighty is going to touch every home over there. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus yeah. Christ, yeah. enough is enough of weeping. Do you have any other scripture to read? My God to the Galatia. Yeah. God Almighty says that for you and I to know that there is a will. Look at Psalm 147, verse number 3. God has a good will for us. Does he want us to keep on crying and crying and crying? So much crying can make you ugly. It can make you to have lies around your eyes. Child of God, there are weeping that God Almighty said enough is enough. Look at it in Psalm 147 verse 3. Psalm 147, I read verse 3. Read on my child. He healeth the broken in heart uh -huh. and bind up their wounds. Amen. God Almighty said he doesn't want us to be broken to the point whereby we are broken to the grave. He can bind the broken hearted. He gives joy to the hopeless. Peace to the weary, and it buys up the broken hearted. Oh, give them all, give them all, give them all, give them all to Jesus. Shall I treat one that heart broken soul? Because people are going to be delivered today. Amen. You're not going to be taking that rubbish anymore. Every time people are making to be crying up and down, and you are crying in the flesh, you have not known that your tears are reserved for prayer, for repentance, for intercession. That is where our tears are for. Not for people that are abusing us and insulting us. We have to come out of it. Enough is enough, family. No. If somebody doesn't want to talk to you again, and so what? Huh? Uh, somebody jilted you, you have to marry the person, and so what? My coach, yeah. That God Almighty allowed a landlord to throw you out of the house, and so what? Is that going to arise, family? I'm yes, trying to our tears in the right quarters. We are going to receive the comfort of the Lord. He's going to help us, family, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. What does it say in Psalm 34, verse 18? Psalm 34, verse 18. My God, Johnny Galatia. Lord, I give you the glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Psalm 34, I read verse 18. Aha, uh -huh, we fire my child, please. The, the Lord, Lord is nigh unto them that are broken. The Lord is close to them that are broken. That of a broken heart. Uh -huh. And saveth us, as uh -huh. such as be of contrite spirit. God Almighty said he saves those that be of contrite spirit. Amen. He knows when we are so down. When he say, I am down, I am down. God says, I know when you are down. My God told me, I'm, there. I'm watching over you. <laughs> if he carry the words of the world upon his shoulder, yes, sir. I know my brother that he will carry. Family, uh. when my parents test me 
out of the house as a teenager. These are the kind of songs that God used to strengthen me. To know that He is there for me. I go so to you. I give God the praise for me because God Almighty said He never said that we should cry forever. There is a time to laugh. There is a time to dance. Don't elongate your weeping time by being unnecessarily discouraged and refusing to inquire of the Lord in prayer. I'm going to see that God Almighty has given a solution to end this weeping. There's a solution for us. In the name of Jesus Christ and I. Let me say the book of 2 Corinthians chapter number 1, 3 to 4. Second Corinthians chapter one, three to four. My God, to the Lord, the Lord, I give the glory. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians chapter one, I read from verse three to four. Yes. Amen. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. The Father of mercies and the God of all comforts. God of all comforts. Who comforted us in all our tribulations? Shout out God. God Almighty said He knows that there will be tribulation. But he comforts us in all our tribulation. Uh -huh. That he may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble. <sighs> so by the comfort here with we ourselves are God Almighty God. said the reason why he allows us to go through tribulation like me, a widow, is to gather widows. I give God praise. I have a testimony. My God to the Galatia. God has been so much loving to me. I don't know how to explain it. Because by the mercy of God, God Almighty wants to bring back the widows. That COVID 19 takes away. God Almighty wants to gather the widows again. So in Jesus' time, you are going to see the widows, dry distributors, in the month of August if Jesus Christ tarries. God Almighty said, He is the one that gave me comfort to comfort them. Yes. That is why when people die, when people's husbands die, when yes. new widows come, they always come and call me. Come and come with me, Kitty. Come and come with me, Kitty. Even when old widow, when, when the, the widow is older than me, I've gone to minister to widows of 70 years, 80 years, 60 something years. I have gone to minister to them in my small age. <laughs> Why? I'm their senior colleague. <laughs> Come to me, Galatia. I have gone through it. I am in it. So I know what to tell them. When my husband died, one woman, a preacher, one pastor's wife, her husband is there, they have Jeep, they have big hat. She came to the house when I was still crying. I said, don't worry. Sister Ketchy, don't worry. I understand what you're going through. I said, eh, you understand what I'm going through? How? See your husband there. See your people, everything. See your car. See everything. You can never understand what I'm going through. I gave it to her hot and fresh. My God told me, she said, please, I am sorry. I know, I'm sorry. Don't say you understand what we just going through, sister, when your husband is there. You cannot know. Only a widow can comfortably minister to a widow or a single mother. According to the you cannot understand that state. And you will not understand it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You're going to grow old with your husband. Amen. And you're going to finish well in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You cannot compare trial to widowhood. It's a different lifestyle altogether. And moreover, God knows how much you can be here. You have your own trial. I may not be able to go through your own trial. Right. So don't go and come back and claim that you are too much. Come and say that you understand what a widow is going through. Widows are allowed by God to help other widows. Are you hearing me, somebody about there? Yes. God Almighty said, it is by the comfort we have which we comfort ourselves, are comforted of oh, God. God. God Almighty is our comfort. Yes, Lord. Ice cream cannot comfort you. Shopping cannot comfort you. Traveling abroad cannot comfort you. Going to commit sin cannot comfort you. Many of you sin, they told me go and cool off in the club, and that was where they lost their lives. They were poisoned to death. Some of them went from there into immorality, and it went on from there to other things. The one of said, sin cannot comfort us. Our comfort is in God. Hallelujah. God Almighty said the reason why we have to go through the things we go through is because God Almighty has seen the future. He has seen where we are going to. He could have delivered Joseph. He could have delivered him from the pit. From the people they sold him to. From all the prison. But God was processing him. Because God is talking to somebody about there. Go through your processing. So that God wants to see you as a valuable tool in his house. He has all manner of tools. Look at the tools in 2 Timothy chapter 2. God has all manner of vessels. Look at from verse number 20. 
Second Timothy chapter 2, I read from verse 20, but in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, uh -huh. but also of wood and of earth, yes. and some to honor uh -huh. and some to dishonor. Uh -huh. If a man therefore purge himself from these, yes. he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. So I say prepare. prepare. <laughs> I give you glory, Lord, for your teaching on the global altar. Uh, if it's before that this thing is doing like this now, I would have been crying and I've been shouting. But I am laughing. Yeah, Kalata. Oh, it is high time for every Christian to start to love the devil. Ha, 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 ha. It is high time for every believer to start to love the devil. Ha, 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 ha. Love the devil. Ha, 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 ha. Love the devil. Ha, 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 ha. It is high time for every believer. God Almighty said it is time for us to follow the process of maturity. And come out of pickiness. Come out of the things that make us to always feel as if we are, are suffering too much. Lord, say to me, uh, uh, say to me. There is something like that. You have a scripture that you are owing me before I go to Peter. Mm -hmm. Do you have any scripture? My culture, the Galatia. Because you know this thing has been causing a destruction, but we are focusing. Go to 1 Peter chapter 5. God Almighty said, What settlement? Our settlement is not here. It's in heaven. We are going through preparation to be used by God unto every good work. As vessels, I am a vessel of gold. Child of God, you cannot claim that you are a vessel of gold and you are behaving like a chicken. You should be gold. gold. You are a vessel of rubber, of footmat outside, of trash can. And, uh, even brooms have broom for inside the house and broom for outside. Yeah, Galatia, no sound again. My God, Lord, I give you glory. Oh, Lord. Child of God, you need to go to the YouTube. We need to edit this message on YouTube because there's so much break that the enemy cannot stop us, family. It, we will continue in the name of Jesus Christ. It's almost going to part three. I come to the Galatia, Lord, I give you glory. Oh, we worship you, Father. We give you all adoration. I want to read God and keep on reading. I'll continue this with this message. In the book of First Peter chapter 5 and verse number 10, the Bible says, But the God of all grace, who has called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. God Almighty said there is a process with him. So beware of looking for settlement when you have not gone through, suffered a while. There is a suffering, child of God, for people who are following Jesus Christ. Yes, it's in 2 Timothy 3, 2, the Bible says, Yea, all that live godly, they shall suffer persecution. We don't know for how long. So God Almighty is going on that we should know the difference between godly suffering and worldly suffering. Yes, and what the devil brings upon us. We should learn that he is the one that puts an end. Say that surely there is an end. Yes. He knows when it's he say enough is enough. This affliction, it has come to an end. He, that's what he said about the woman that was bent into two. Look at the story of the woman that was bent into two. Holy Ghost, remind me of that scripture, please. Look for that scripture. The woman that was bent into two, there's something that Jesus said about her condition. The Lord said, enough is enough. My God to the Concerning her heart. The woman that was loose. My God to the Look for that scripture. Luke 13, 12. Luke 13, verse number 12. And the Bible says, can you hear me over there? I'm telling you, if you can hear me, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. The Bible says, hallelujah. The Bible says that there was a woman that was bound and bound in Luke from 11, my God. Luke chapter 13, I from verse 11. Uh -huh. And behold, there was a woman uh -huh. She had a spirit of infirmity 18 years yes. and was bowed together uh -huh. and could in no wise lift up herself. Uh -huh. And when Jesus saw her, yes. he called her to him uh -huh. and said unto her, Woman, yes. 
Thou art loose. Well, my thou art loose from my infirmities. Read on. And he laid his hands on her, uh -huh. and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. And people were angry. And the ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation, uh -huh. because that Jesus had healed on the Sabbath day. Hypocrites. And said unto the people, uh -huh. There are six days in which men ought to walk, uh -huh. and, in them, <laughs> and in them therefore come and be healed, uh -huh. and not on the Sabbath day. There are human beings that don't want us to have joy. I cannot lie to you, family. The people that when they see me happy as a widow, they are angry. They are saying, why, who comforted her? Who is encouraging her? And they begin to, 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 they begin to, to check me out. They begin to spy on me to see whether I have one man somewhere. Hey, Kalanta, who is servicing me, making me to be happy? Hey, Kalanta, there are people of people who are angry at your joy. There are people that when you are having to something that God, God wants to do in your life, they are not happy about it. They are not your friends. Those people are the people that God has revealed to you as your enemy. But God told us today how to handle such people. They are in trouble with God. God Almighty said, Jesus answered them in verse 2 and said, Thou he hypocrites, does not each one of you uh, the not, uh, lose his ass, or his ass from the stall and leave him away to water? People are more concerned about what they are passing through. They break the laws to suit themselves. Mm -hmm. But when somebody else is having joy, with that, with, with, with looking as if they are breaking the law, and they don't break it of law. They are breaking of the law of, of, of bondage. Jesus is the one that came to give us freedom yes, and give us life more abundantly. He is the one that will not regard with Jesus Christ. People judge joy based on welfare of this world. God Almighty said Jesus knew that they were hypocrites. He knew their secret. But look at what he said in verse 16. And ought not this woman being a daughter of Abraham? Daughter of Abraham, daughter of Zion. God Almighty said, God don't weep all the time. Uh -huh. Whom said that had bad load these 18 years? Uh -huh. Be loose from the board on the Sabbath day. God of said today, my God, to be Kalata, like a Kalata, like a Ye Kalosuka, Ye Kakakalata. Somebody's going to be loose today. Amen. Is it a bondage of those number of years? Jesus said today, you are loose. In the name of Jesus Christ. God of said he can never allow his children, daughters of Zion, men of valor, brethren, ministers of God that are serving him. To cry to the end. There is surely a time that God might say, It's time for you to come joyfully. Begin to serve me with joy. Begin to do my will with joy. The Lord God Almighty will help us to be focused. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The one with the issue of blood have almost 12 years. Mm. How many years is your own? How long have you going through? I've been a widow for 17 years. I've been carrying my son for 28 years. It's not talking. Yes, it is because it is after one year old I knew that he was not talking. But I said, beware, child of God, of thinking that you have suffered too much. God knows when it is enough. And it's one has called us today and gave me this topic and said, enough is enough of weeping. Yes, Lord, enough is enough of frustration. When you weep too much, child of God, you will not see things double, double. You will not see things clearly. You begin to walk with vain imaginations. You will not see mirage. What is not there we will be looking as if it is there. God Almighty is calling us to come out of the weeping of the flesh. Yes, weeping of this world. Especially the area of weeping because people offended you. That weeping has to end. My God, it's a useless weeping. Why? Human beings we are created to offend. Ah, my God, so tell us what Jesus says, Luke 17, 1. He said, offenses must come. We cannot stop it. You control your mind. You control your heart. Why? The Bible says in Jeremiah 17, verse 9, the heart of man is deceitful. It is desperately wicked. Who can know it? Do not expect love from man. Fear is the help of man. Man can promise you today they fail. Only Jesus Christ can promise and maintain his promise. Especially when we stick with him. God is going to come out of all our useless weeping today. We you know weep for righteousness. We you know so in tears towards your soul that you will not miss it at last. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Solution, child of God, is let's try the following scriptures. <laughs> the discussions have been much, but we are going to continue our scriptures, Psalm 33, 18 to 21, Psalm 40, 1 to 4, Psalm 34, 17 to 20. God tell the galactic, Lord, I give you glory. Enough is enough of frustration. And we're going to hope in God. What does he say? Psalm 33. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy, to deliver their soul from death, and to give them alive, alive in famine. famine. Our soul waited for the Lord, uh -huh. he is our help, uh -huh. and our, our shield. shield. For, For our hearts hearts shall rejoice in him because, because we have trusted in his holy, holy name. Somebody say holy name. Holy name. Holy name. Say holy name. 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 Holy as long as we are in holiness, we trust in his holy name, he's going to come to us and deliver us. Amen. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. Say to the weary one, your love will surely come. He will come and save away sorrow. Mm -mm. No matter the people you complain to, family in the entire world about your problem, at best you will hear it is well. As a mother we lie to you, I will pray for you. Don't hope on the prayer of man. Pray for yourself. Huh? When you pray for yourself, family, you will have assurance that at least you have prayed. Could you read scripture? Psalm 40, 1 to 4. Yes, sir. I waited patiently for the Lord. Yes. And he inclined unto me and heard my cry. Hallelujah. Amen. He brought me up also out of an honorable pit, and out of the merry clay, and set my feet upon, upon the, the rock, rock and, and established my goings. And he had put a new song in my mouth. Uh -huh. Even praise unto our God. Uh -huh. Many shall sing it and fear, and shall trust in the Lord. Praise he him. brought me up from the merry clay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He set my feet on the rock to say, He put a song in my mouth today, and now I can sing Hallelujah! Oh, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Jesus lifted me! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Jesus lifted me! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Five years old. I'm not this about 35 years. I don't know that you are born. My God, you're like a lot of Hallelujah. Maybe I'm going to compare some of these songs. I said to us on WhatsApp, so you can be enjoying Jesus Christ. Verse 4 says, Blessed, Blessed is that man that, that maketh the Lord his cross. Hallelujah. Amen. I respected not the proud, uh -huh. nor such as stone aside to lie. Anybody who is blackmailing you, lying against you, False accusers who doesn't want to see you, who is hating you, God calls them that they are proud. Don't respect them. Don't give them your power. My cousin, do when you cry for people, you give them power. The Lord has won me. Stop. Don't ever cry. So they don't want you. Let them go. My cousin, yeah. Don't cry for people. Cry to the Lord. Put your eye on God. Let God that can pity a man as a man as a father pities his son. So God pities us. Look for that scripture for us. God Almighty is the only one that can have genuine pity. He's the one that has empathy. 
Don't look for sympathy. My God, to the Don't look for pity. Pity is for those that are in the pits. My God, yeah. go for gold. Go for divine help. Go for divine touch. Go for divine embrace and divine comfort. Beware of the pity of men. They don't have that ability to pity. Only God can make a man to remember somebody for good. Because the world is filled with selfish souls. Have you seen that scripture? Take it to Psalm 103 verse 13. Uh-huh. Read it, Psalm. Psalm 103 verse 13. My God, I give the glory. Like a father pities his children. Uh-huh. So the Lord pities them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now fear him again. Now fear him. Beware, child of God. Do you fear God? Some looking for pity from God when you know that it is for that moment. You still have your agenda. You have the lifestyle you want to live. Many people go to God to look for blessing just for it to become that they have a testimony. Huh? Yeah, they have the life they want to continue living. They don't, they don't serve God. They collect from God and they walk away. God knows them. People who fear God, they are patient. That's what David said in Psalm 40. I waited patiently. Patiently for the Lord. And the Lord knows those that are really waiting for him. Not to collect and go. Not to grab and go. Not to be using money to claim prophecy. Yeah, Kalanta. We are in respect of church people. Beware, child of God. God knows those that trust him, that fear him. He pities them. He does something about it. And Lord God Almighty said today, enough is enough Amen. of weeping Amen. and hoping on people. Amen. Complain to people up and down. Put, put something in your mouth, too. Say the amount. The person you are talking to maybe the next wicked person, my God, who is going to take over your life. He that keep out his mouth, keep out his life. Yeah, Kalanta. Don't sell out your life for people you don't know. Hey, Kalanta. There is a friend that's taken closer than a brother. God of us can give you a friend. A genuine friend who is after your, your good for your spiritual life. Not to pet your flesh. That is why I, 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 I boast in the Lord. By the mercy of God, I will not be intimidated by anybody. I don't care who thinks that they, they, I love them so much. You can't intimidate me, my God. I will tell you the hard truth. You may be angry, but I will tell you, and I, want, I don't want to say something, my God. There are people that when I tell you they get angry, once I, I, they turn their back, I start laughing. I love it. Look at this one. This one that, 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 that the enemy has already marked to destroy. God is going to be excited about people that tell us the truth. To go to God in prayer. To go and seek God. To go and tell it before God. That is the solution to this end of this weeping. What's the next scripture? Psalm 34, 17 to 20. Read on. The righteous cry, uh -huh. and the Lord heareth, yes. and delivered them out of all their troubles. Uh -huh. And the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart. Hallelujah. And there is so such as be of a contrite spirit. Read on. Many are the afflictions Many of the righteous. Many are the afflictions of the uh, sinner. Of the righteous. Of the wicked. Of the righteous. Of the fornicator. Of the righteous. The righteous has many afflictions. Child of God, it's not because of sin. We are passing through things a lot of times. God can allow it. God can allow it to showcase his glory. We don't. But the Lord delivered him out of them all. Them all? Amen. Where are you, son? Verse 19. God give you 20? Yes. He keepeth all his bones. Uh -huh. Not one of them is broken. Hallelujah. Amen. This goes to confirm Jesus Christ. Yes. His bones are now broken. In John chapter 19, verse 36. This is a prophecy about the righteous. God knows how much you can bear. Your bone cannot be broken. Yes, Your strength will not go down. No matter what I'm passing through, family, my strength is there. Yes, I can be going through something, family, and somebody comes for counseling, I have time. I can be going through something and I'm doing some meal. What does it say, John 1936? Go Yeah, Holy Ghost. Today is a wonderful day. John chapter 19, verse 26. 26. Verse 26. For these things we, we are done, done that the scripture so shall be fulfilled. A bone of it shall not be, be broken. Your bone will not be broken. Amen. You shall finish well and strong. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Do you know why your bone should be broken? Tell God, because you need to run your race. A broken bone cannot run. My God, tell you. God Almighty is going to preserve us, family. Amen. What we are passing through will not break us. Amen. You will still have joy at the end. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Amen. you know, say, if 
you do not have end of weeping, but adventure in every area of your life, there is an ultimate final end of weeping. Don't miss that one. Don't miss that one. Don't suffer twice. Don't weep here and weep there. Go to the book of Revelation chapter number 21, verse 4. Isaiah 25, verse 10. Those two scriptures, and then we begin to prepare to pray. Somebody about that, if you know that God Almighty is already taking away the soul, shout hallelujah. 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 Yeah. 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 I verse 4. Yeah, they say. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. That is a handkerchief in the hand of daddy. Yes, Lord. He's waiting for you and I there. He's waiting for me. I don't know about you, but the handkerchief is like this. Yeah. It's hanging. It's waiting. I hurried on. Neither sorrow nor crying. There will be no sorrow or crying. Neither shall there be any more pain. No more pain. For the former things are passed away. The former things are passed away. Oh, oh he glory land. That's oh, where. was with him and he was following God every trial with prayer. The Lord is using trials to train us to pray. Trial with prayer. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. So we're going to go to God in prayer family because God Almighty said enough is enough of frustration. You cannot have Jesus Christ and you are frustrated. You are too loaded with Christ to be stressed. It is time for you and I to receive the invitation of the Lord to have rest with him. Yeah. To enjoy him. And even if we are going through trial, our joy is not contaminated. We go through the process and we come out without scars, 
like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, like Daniel in a lion's den, and not a bite of lion on his skin. Let's go to God in the place of prayer. The Lord has done it again for us today. In spite of all the distractions of the network, we have gone through our testing. We have passed the test today. Distraction did not stop us. The Lord has helped us to continue in our prayer today. The wind, the turbulence, the storm could not stop us. Exchange. There is an evil exchange in the life of most of us Christians. What is that exchange? We get angry at the things of the flesh. And when we are doing evil against God, when we are not growing in the spirit, we are not moved. It's an evil exchange. We laugh at spiritual things and we cry at fleshy things. We cry when people steal from us, when people do evil to us. We weep. We weep with the energy that we would have used to weep for our sin and obtain mercy and favor of the Lord. We cannot tell. We use the energy we would have used to get intimate with God, to go deep with God. We use it for stupid things of the flesh. It's an evil exchange. We're going to take it back, family. We're going to take it back. We're going to turn it back to the original order. Let everything be done decently and in order. We have been disorderly. Our weeping has gone to the wrong channel. And it's giving us more and more sorrow. Taking us down and down and down. We are getting farther away from God. Let's cross the Father. And repent of the evil exchange. Of weeping for my flesh. Weeping for worldly things. Weeping for human beings. And Lord, we need weep for my sin. And I weep for souls. And I weep for God. I want to ask you, when last did you weep while worshiping God? I go to the Galatia. When last did tears, tears of joy, tears of the awesomeness of God's love, when last did it come out of your eye? If it is a long time, then child of God, you have been very far from God. 
Oh, no, because you your love for God has been contaminated. Yeah, Galata. If you have not wept in recent times, uh, even yesterday, oh. you tear the out of your eyes uh, when you are worshiping God. God Almighty said, You and Him are not intimate. Oh. It's something that separated both of you. We need to cry to God. Oh. We need that intimacy. Oh. Our tears must be restored. Oh. You can be crying for stupid oh. things that have no bread oh. of on you. Oh. God is a jealous God. Oh. Yeah, Galata. Oh. Anyway, I brought affliction to my soul. With my soul. So with my tongue, with my carelessness, Father, today I repent to God. Have mercy on me, Lord. Have mercy on me. I drop down. I put down that self affliction. I deny it today. I refuse it today. No more self affliction. No more self pity. Enough is enough. Open your mouth. Let us repent. Anyway, oh God, I brought a friction to my life. Lord, with my tongue, I talk to the wicked. I pray upon the wicked people. Lord, today, I lay it down. I lay it down. I denounce it. I reject it. I refuse it. I cannot walk out of here. I cannot walk out of here. I rejected your training. I, I despised your pruning. I, I didn't want you to carry me the hard way. I, want I want that easy way. I, that easy way. I, repent, today. I repent today. I don't want to be useless. I want, I want to be a strong vessel. A vessel of God. A vulnerable vessel. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, Kalata. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever I hear the pilot say, but nothing to worry about, child of God, you almost want to worship the pilot. Hey, yeah, Kalata. What a confidence. Hey. What a boldness. Hey. Only because he has already seen the end. Right. And that is a small turbulence. Ah. That he can glide through it. Yes. Ah, Kalata. Like he can show up ah. through it. Yes. Child of God, we are eagles. Ah. We are not chickens. Yes. Eagles are excited at storms. Right. Eagles laugh. 
when trouble is coming, until we get there, we're not qualified for heaven. But God told the to you. Any trouble that God allows in our lives, tell our God it's an opportunity for us to have an increased prayer life. But God told the If my son was talking well, when I took him to the UK, family, I will not pray the way I prayed in the UK. And I've been all over the shops shopping and enjoying and having fun. But because God Almighty wanted to develop my prayer life, He made sure that my son did not go through the therapy and come out talking. He made sure that it was not going to be as I thought. God monitored it by Himself and made me to be prayerful from beginning to the end. No room for fun, no room to play. He he kept me sober. He kept me vigilant. He kept me humble. He was producing character. Virtuous character for my life. Tell our God, when Lord, don't thank God for trouble. Little as a father. I am sorry, Lord. When I got angry at my troubles. So today, I come, oh God, in humility. I open my heart to you. to say it cannot be the will of God. But God Almighty said this went so wrong with Jesus. Uh, <laughs> he was beaten, slapped, he went through all manner of wrong things. And at the end of the day, he said it is finished. Uh, he finished the work. God Almighty said a lot of things we are going through that don't look as if they are working out. It is his processing in our lives uh, to know whether we can tarry with him to the end. Whether we can finish well. Hey, Kalata, finishing well is not a positive, positive confession for many. Finishing well is by going through. Somebody said going through. Going through. Yeah. Going through we need to go through uh, to get to the finishing line. Yeah. Uh, there are transit places to stop. Uh, there are things that God Almighty must say, you have to pass through this. I must need to pass through Samaria. Why? There is a woman there that has six men in her life. Uh, 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 to Nicolata. She has to admit the seventh man. Uh, 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 I want to teach the word about true worship. Uh, 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 if not for that woman, we will not know that God is a spirit uh, uh, and that they that worship him must worship in the spirit and the truth. A prostitute was used uh, to teach us about the will of God. Uh, uh, the Lord of God said, Father, I am ready to be strong in my trials. As you will, let your will be done in my life. Let your will be done. What is not praying? What is not praying? Let your will be done in my life. Let your will be done in my life. In the name of Jesus, we are going to let your will be done. Let your will be done. In the name of Jesus, Christ, by today we are praying. The Bible says somebody went through his own for 38 years. And another one went through 18 years. 10, 12 years. Tell God, God Almighty knows they too. Mm -hmm. He has they too. Yeah. The, our times are in his hands. Yeah. So beware, child of God, of comparing your life with people. Today, we are going to cry to God about weeping for stupid things. According to the our weeping on stupid things has to end today. Right. Our getting frustrated and depressed because of stupid things have to end today. Right. All the sicknesses we have acquired due to evil thinking. Right. Evil worrying, worrying, worrying. God Almighty said many sicknesses came because of worry. Yeah, yeah. Like God, ulcer, ulcer comes through worry. My 
continue. Once you are worrying, answer can come. Once you are bitter, cancer can come. My God to me. Yeah. Oh, yes. A lot of sicknesses are coming because of our carnality. Yes. 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 We have to repent. Don't ask yes. for healing. Oh. Don't ask for healing. Repent, first of all, of attracting that disease. Yes. 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 Of attracting that evil in your life. Yes. Then God Almighty is going to show mercy to us. Yes. 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 Father, Father, every affliction I brought to yes. myself, every affliction I brought to in myself. my mind, in my, in my body, Shall I enter due to my fleshy frustration? Today, I repent. I repent. I repent. Oh, we are one of us cry to God. I repent. Israel. Ah, because like, I met a woman in Israel. She also was a pilgrim. And her eyes were so fat. She was wearing a very thick glasses. And I came out and I gave testimony about how my husband and my daughter died. Uh, how God Almighty has kept me. She looked at me and she began to cry. And she kept on me after the, after the testimony and she said, look at my eye. I said, what happened to your eyes? We are very scary. The internal part of the eye was coming out. You can very, very scary. Uh, ah, Calavari, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, it was so scary to me. She said, the reason why my eyes are like this because I cried because my daughter died. I cried. God told me not to cry again. I refused God's comfort. I kept on crying. Tell her God, she cried until the eye inside popped out. Uh, I cried. I said, Lord, have mercy. She said, she said to me, if you can be healed, you are only husband and daughter. And you are healed. Look at your eyes are normal. Ah. He said, pray for me. Child of God, I only pray for God to have mercy on her. I ask God for repentance. Child of God, she came back and testified that her eyes had cleared. Ah. I go to ah. me. Ah. Ah. Link up as a father. Addictions. You end an addiction because you wanted to look for something to console you. And now you cannot come out of that addiction anymore. You're going to cry to God for mercy. Addiction of drinking, of smoking, addiction of pornography, of masturbation, all manner of addictions. Shopping addiction, driving up and down addiction. I can't tell you that. We're going to repent for the Lord and cry to God. Get an affection of our spiritual life. We are not growing in the Lord. We're not seeing the glory of God. Addiction may come not to see God. Father, I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. Go into addictions. So look for comfort. I repent today, Lord. I need your comfort, Lord. I need your comfort, God. You are nigh to them. I'm broken at the Lord. I'm broken at the Lord. I could not be consoled. Pastor, we pray for us, family, Marco to the Galatia. You are going to pray to the court of the Holy Ghost. Every stupid thing you have been crying for, my husband doesn't touch me. 
It doesn't take care of it. You are crying. You are stupid to cry. What a stupid cry. Can you say that I'm a widow? What if I'm a widow? You are crying because of a husband. My God, you are. So you cannot be a widow. My neighbor, because beware, child of God, of tempting the Lord your God. He said, jealous God. God, I say, enough is enough for, of crying for stupid things when you have a mouth to pray. When you can call upon God, you are making God to look as if God is wicked. You are making God to look as if God is not relevant in your life. You are despising the goodness of God. You are going to lift your voice and cry. Everything that has made you to cry in this world, be it insult, be it betrayal, be it gossip. As for me, I have made up my mind, family. Enough is enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to yeah, yeah, yeah. My mind is decided, though. Yes, no. I don't know what anybody's going to do to me, and I'm going to be crying for them. For what? Enough is enough. Enough is enough. I don't care about people's insult anymore. Yes, Their insult is starting to me. Yes, Why? They are frustrated fools. Rakot to the Galatia. They don't have money. People who don't have money, that's how they go about talking anyhow. Rakot to the Galatia. Sister Rakot to the Galatia. I cry for human beings. I cry for food. I cry for everything. But on the flesh, everything I cry. Enough is enough. We bless your name, Lord. Yes, Lord. We are grateful unto you, Lord. We thank you so much for your word today. Yes, Lord. Lord, I mean, I was not telling the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. Yes. Thank you for stopping weeping in our lives today. Ah, you say enough, enough, enough is enough of weeping in our life. We have been wasting our tears when we are supposed to put it to you in prayer. Father God, I'm mighty in my condition of today. Father, be thou exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, please show us mercy today, Lord. When we have wasted great investment, O Lord. When we have so seed in the wrong place, O Lord. Ah, Father, we are sorry, Lord. Lord, you're not in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. But I will pray, Lord, from today, Lord. I love us. Lord. Oh Lord. Father God Almighty, we start sowing rightly, O Lord. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You say it's not wrong for us to weep, Amen. but we should weep righteous weep, O Lord. Yes, oh Lord and we should weep to pray. Yes. We not to weep because of human beings. Never. That have no reward. Father no God Almighty, we pray today, Lord. Oh, we start sowing the seed of our weeping, O Lord. Yes, rightly Lord. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. We worship unto you. Lord, yes, in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. Amen. our matter before you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. Father God Almighty, Lord, we come against every form of addiction today. Father God Almighty, that I've been sing or not, Lord, Father, we put them down today in the mighty name of Jesus, Christ. We receive power over them, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Christ. We receive power to resist, the Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Christ. Amen. Every form of addiction, we put them down today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. But I'm about to keep on looking up to you, Lord. Because that's the only place we have strength, Lord. It's in you we have strength, Lord. It's in you we have power, Lord. Help us to hold on to you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And our God Almighty, we 
ask of you, Lord. Yeah, we know in life we have to go through process. Anthony, we can't just be at the showroom and showing ourselves when we have not gone through process. That is it. It's a wasted effort. That is it. Ah, we can't last long in that area. And that is not the law. Help us to pass through our process, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Help us to go through our process, Lord. Yes, Lord. In your workshop, Lord. Yes, sir. Lord. Yes, sir. Lord. Yes, sir. Lord. Yes, sir. Lord. When you are shizzling us, Lord. Yes, sir. When you are bending us, Lord. Lord. Yes, sir. 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 Lord. Yes, Thank you so much, Dad. Thank you, Daddy. We bless your holy name. Hallelujah. We love you so much, Dad. Yes, sir. So you love be all glory, honor, and adoration. Yes, Lord. For in Jesus Christ's mighty name we are praying. Amen. Amen. And amen. 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 God bless you, Pastor, for that personal amen. prayer. Amen. Finally, God Almighty said, enough is enough. Yes, Lord. You have lost so much energy I'm with fine. stupid weeping. Now you need energy for prayer. You cannot pray. You are putting much passion in the things of this world and what people did to you. Now it is time to seek God. You cannot. Your brain, your brain is turning up and down. Your eyes are turning. You don't have strength anymore. The Lord said, "Enough is enough." Yes, Lord. The Bible says that David cried until he had no more power to cry. That's right. Don't that should encourage him whether to kill him. Tell oh, God, God, there is no profit in the weeping of the flesh. I beg you, family, I am begging you. I am begging you. I am kneeling down to pray, but now I have added kneeling down for you. My God, don't beg you. My God, so that please, family, don't cry again for wife. Don't cry for husband. Don't cry for children. Don't cry, you're going to hurt them. Turn it to prayer. Let only God Almighty be worthy of your tears. The more you cry, the more you cry, the more they make you to cry more. You know this, enjoy people's sorrow. Beware of their sorrow. It's not from their heart. They use your weapon to console themselves. God is going out to true weapon. It is in the spirit. Right. Weep for your sin. Weep for your spiritual weakness. Weep, child of God, where people are going astray. Weep and cry to God to restore your life and those around you. That is the weeping that has profit. We are going to make in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And you find yourself so dry, no water in your eye, in God's presence, it's time to begin to cry. Uh, and continue. Uh, when you don't cry in God's presence, child of God, it's not a good thing, oh, I'm oh, begging you. Oh, it's a sign that your heart is somewhere else. Let your heart be turned back to God, family. Oh, and by the mercy of God, in Jesus Christ, Thomas, we are going to meet tomorrow for the final day five of Enough is Enough. By 3 p.m. and then by 12 midnight it's going to also be Facebook. Yes, but today is Zoom. Today is Zoom. 12 midnight to 1 p.m. Pray on your own from 11. Okay. Then from 12, we'll gather for one hour as the Lord will direct us to 
you broke your leg. You had a tragedy upon an insult. Beware of adding problem to your problem. You have gotten so angry, child of God. You have broken pictures. You have broken TV. You have broken handset. You have broken many things. Due to your frustration, enough is enough. Your home right now is receiving the peace of God. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Don't trade God's comfort for the stupid things of this world anymore. Let God's comfort be your portion and the portion of your family forever. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord God Almighty bless you, family. Amen. The Lord God Almighty strengthen your prayer life. Amen. The Lord God Almighty restore you back to his presence. Amen. The Lord God Almighty give you righteous holy body now. Amen. And you will pray and receive more from him. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord God Almighty bless you. Amen. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Love you plenty, plenty, plenty. Amen. Keep on keeping on. Go to the YouTube channel and get the full message. Amen. The devil cannot stop us. We are unstoppable. Yes, In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Thank you Lord Jesus. Right. Lift up say, Father. Ah. Thank you for lifting me out. Thank you for lifting me out. From the beat of sorrow. From, the beat of sorrow. From today. I am on the mountain top to worship you in the name of Jesus. Oh, lift up your voice and Yeah. Okay. 